Hi guys, it's Minette again with Technique Time Tuesday. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different this month. I'm using my webcam, so hopefully you'll be able to see things better and the sound won't be as bad. This month our technique is the faux chalkboard technique. This is my finished card, but I'm going to show you how you can create this type of a technique. And it's really quick and easy. Um, hopefully you read the list of supplies that you need, so if you have all those, you're ready to get started. I'm going to start with my black piece of paper and some Versamark ink. And I'm going to create my border with this border stamp from Paper Tray Ink, their Faux Ribbons collection, which is a really cool um, set of stamps that you can create borders with, obviously. So I'm going to create my border, and I'm using the Versamark ink because I'm going to use some white embossing powder to heat emboss that. And since I don't really care if it's perfect or not, because I kind of like that eclectic look, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And one more time up here. And then I'm going to put the white, white embossing powder over it. And then you can see how it's going to create this border around here. I'm going to get a little bit extra on here because I didn't get as well. So I'm going to heat emboss that real quick. Sorry, it might get loud. And when you're heat embossing, make sure that you don't get your heat embossing gun too close to your um, paper because it could burn it. I've had that happen before. It happens really badly on um, white paper, but with the black paper, it turns it kind of a weird brownish color. So make sure that you don't overheat emboss. And that's what it looks like after it's heat embossed. And now I'm going to take my sentiment, which is a sentiment by um, Inspired by Stamping, which is a great company. And since I already have some white ink on it, I'm just gonna ink it up with white ink. Kind of put that right where I want it in the center there. I'm gonna get some white embossing powder on that and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to heat emboss that being careful again not to damage my paper another good tip when you're doing this is if you have an embossing buddy or like a um, sheet that goes on your Swiffer, you could run that across your paper so that you don't get a whole bunch of these splotches. But you know, even if you do, it's okay. So now what you do when you're at this point is you're gonna take your sentiment again and you're gonna Kind of off center from where you stamped it before and stamp it again in white ink and that kind of creates that shadow do you see that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some different stamps from this really cute set by um close to my heart it's got it's called smitten but it's got all these chalkboardy looking um, things and I'm going to just stamp those just in white ink. I'm not going to emboss them. So it kind of gives a more muted feel to it. I've got this really fun squiggly. I'm going to do it right there. Maybe right here. And then one more little heart. Here. 
here. And then down here. And there I finished it. If you want to, and I did do this a little bit, you can kind of take your finger and smudge it a little bit. And it gives it a little bit more of a chalkboardy feel to it. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me show you a little bit better. Can you see how it's smudged and smeared a little bit? So you can do that also. And then all you have to do when you get to this point is adhere it to whatever project. And this is my finished card. So pretty quick, pretty simple. Um, you can use any kind of stamps that you want. My DT has a fabulous array of creations made with this technique. So I hope that you join us this month and happy stamping friends.